It's not just since the Uncharted movie that it's been clear that more and more video game characters will find their way into the movie business. Film and gaming giant Sony has now announced plans to bring more PlayStation franchises to the big screen. One example of a new project is the wildly popular game The Last of Us, which is even scheduled to appear as an entire series on HBO Max. In addition, there are the two Sony games Twisted Metal and Ghost of Tsushima. There is now also new photo material and even some video footage from the upcoming Uncharted. The picture shows the two main characters Nathan Drake and Victor Sullivan exploring a kind of crypt. The video footage mentioned was shown in a promo video from Sony and also shows the actors in a somewhat fancier setting. You will be able to watch the full adventure in theaters starting February 11, 2022. In addition to Uncharted, Sony also commented on the cinematic future of God of War. The cool series around the Greek god Kratos will definitely not be part of the adaption program in the next few years, as a Sony spokesman recently shared on Twitter. Many fans can't quite relate to that since the last God of War was one of the best and most popular games of the last console generation. Possibly Sony might just be waiting until the currently planned game sequel God of War Ragnarok is ready to be released. There has been a lot of speculation in recent days, but on Wednesday it was officially announced Amazon is taking over the movie giant MGM. This not only means that 8.45 billion US dollars will change hands, it also involves the huge MGM catalog, which consists of more than 17,000 series and 4,000 films. These not only include Stargate, Fargo and The Handmaid's Tale, but also cult series such as James Bond and The Silence of the Lambs. With this move, Amazon and especially its associated streaming service Prime Video are responding to the intense competition from Disney+, Plus, Netflix and the like. With the takeover of the long-established company, one of the few film studios that had not yet been taken over by a major corporation is now switching sides. Unfortunately, it is not yet clear when the takeover will finally be concluded and when you will be able to watch James Bond as part of your Prime subscription. After the huge news of the Amazon deal, the question now naturally arises as to what is to happen next with individual franchises. At least the future of James Bond seems to have been sorted out, since producer Barbara Broccoli and her colleague Michael G. Winslow not only talked about the Amazon deal, but also about the future of Agent 007. The longtime producers promised to keep making the James Bond movies for the worldwide audience. However, it seems that this will no longer be with Daniel Craig as the 53-year-old will cease to be Agent 007 after the upcoming No Time to Die movie. Amazon will certainly have a keen interest in showing the films exclusively on Prime Video in the future, potentially shortly after the theatrical releases. For the time being, we can only speculate, but we are looking forward to Daniel Craig's last Bond film No Time to Die on October 8, 2021. In the first Ant-Man movie, main character Scott Lang already met the villain Darren Cross, aka Yellow Jacket. In the end, Ant-Man was able to defeat his opponent by manipulating his suit and the seemingly crushing Yellow Jacket. In the past, the theory that Cross might have survived the whole incident arose quite often, not least because director Peyton Reed himself talked about the possibility that he might just be trapped in the quantum realm. Of course, this isn't a final statement yet, but in combination with a picture published by Evangeline Lilly, the matter is slowly but surely taking clear shape. The Wasp actress put the name of Yellow Jacket actor Corey Stoll into her hashtags and then deleted the picture again shortly afterwards. In our opinion, this is a pretty clear sign. In relation to the title Quantumania, the assumption that Ant-Man will meet his former adversary in the Quantum Realm is not improbable. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania will be coming to theaters on February 17, 2023. There's news about the Sonic sequel from Paramount. First of all, there's of course a risk of spoilers, so if you don't want to know absolutely anything about the accidentally announced newcomer, you should skip this news. So far, it's been clear that Sonic's sidekick Tails will be making his film debut in the upcoming sequel, having already appeared in the post credit scene of the first part anyway. On the United States Copyright Office website, Paramount uploaded an official synopsis that might have revealed a bit more than it should have. It states, among other things, that Knuckles will fight alongside the antagonist Dr. Robotnik. This sounds strange at first since he has always appeared as the Blue Hedgehog's buddy in the newer games. In order to make sense of Knuckles' potentially evil role, you need to go back a couple of years to the release of the game Sonic the Hedgehog 3. In his gaming debut at the time, the Red Hedgehog was still an enemy of Sonic, having been incited by, who would have guessed it, Dr. Robotnik. Later, however, the two clearly did become friends and it's considered likely that the friendly relationship between the two Hedgehogs will be revived towards the end of the upcoming film. The synopsis also reveals that Dr. Robotnik is teaming up with Knuckles to search for a powerful emerald that can wipe out entire civilizations. Obviously, Sonic and Tails have to prevent this, which is why a race for the emerald begins. The final outcome will be revealed starting on April 8, 2022. 
The time has come. Sony has finally found a fitting lead actor for the new standalone film Craven the Hunter. The role will be filled by kick-ass star Aaron Taylor-Johnson after it was reportedly first offered to Keanu Reeves. The 30-year-old is also known from his role as Quicksilver in Avengers Age of Ultron. In other words, he's not a newcomer to the field of comic book adaptions. The Spider-Verse's new anti-hero's real name is Sergei Kravenov, and he's a relentless big-game hunter who only needs his hands for hunting. Since he certainly already has Africa's Big Five to answer for, he needs a new challenging target, and who would come in more handy than Peter Parker himself? Along with Morbius and Vulture, at least the first three of the Sinister Six seem to be joining forces to finally take on Spider-Man. Things are getting exciting in the Spider-Verse, with Kraven the Hunter expected to be released in cinemas on January 13, 2023. As Deadline reported a few days ago, HBO was working on a previously unknown spin-off to Game of Thrones. The series, called 10,000 Ships, is set about 1,000 years before the original series and has Princess Nymeria as the focus of the plot. During the Second Spice War, her homeland of Royna fights the Valyrian Freehold and loses. Along with the survivors and 10,000 ships, the defeated Nymeria eventually embarks on a journey from Essos to Dorne. Attentive Game of Thrones viewers should be familiar with the name of Nymeria, as Arya Stark also called her Wolf by that name. We are looking forward to another prequel following the recent start of shooting on House of the Dragon.